unplugged. Let's do this. All right, boys, we're doing this. Okay, nobody's home. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make this video before any of my roommates get back. Hey guys, my name is Derek. Uh, I'm currently a junior at St. Francis College and I am a part of their new men's volleyball program that's Division One. I am also someone who went from not playing a single varsity sport in college to finally playing Division One men's volleyball. I'm from Philadelphia, but it is my first official semester living in Brooklyn. It's my second semester at St. Francis College, but last semester I actually commuted from New Jersey. If you know me from Instagram or anything volleyball related, I live and breathe volleyball. It's definitely changed my life. It's definitely made me who I am today. So here I am trying to finally get on the YouTube platform. It hasn't really been a brand new Division One program specifically in a long time. It's actually really rare for a new Division One program to be established. So I'm gonna talk about what it's like being a student athlete and specifically a student athlete for men's volleyball at St. Francis College. Uh, so I'm gonna talk about five major things. Nine o'clock practice with the boys. Nine o'clock practice with the boys. Right now we are currently in preseason. Uh, so men's volleyball is traditionally a spring sport for uh, NCAA. So in the fall we're in preseason, we get to train, we get the weight lift, kind of get our touches in and kind of refine our technique and just be prepared for our season a little earlier than everybody. So as of right now, we practice about four to five times a week. The time varies. Sometimes we'll practice late in the afternoon around like four to six. Sometimes we actually practice really early in the morning where it's like 7 a.m. The practices are normally two hours each. They're pretty intense two hours, I would like to say. It's very uh, team-based and also individually based, but a lot of conditioning as always, because when you're in your preseason, I guess you're more focused on conditioning yourself to become stronger and just more fit for when season comes. Uh, before we had team practices, we actually had something called individuals. So in individuals, you are in a small group around like three to four people. In individuals, you're really focusing on getting rid of your bad techniques and kind of just beginning to touch a ball again. So it's normally the pre-pre-season, I would say, but it's it's amazing to work in small groups and get more individual attention when you're normally on a big team. So far, practices have been honestly amazing. It's definitely been a hard transition. So far, we're about week seven into school and about week three or maybe four of just training of individuals and team practices. But overall, I'm spending about eight to 10 hours every week playing volleyball. Number two, strengthening conditioning. When it comes to weightlifting, I probably only started going to the gym maybe about a year ago uh, because I'm a scrawny dude. Honestly, playing any type of college sport, I think working out is essential only because you're not only strengthening yourself, but you're kind of preventing yourself from getting hurt. Also, who wouldn't want some muscles, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so as for St. Francis, we are lifting three days a week. Uh, they are for about an hour um, with Yuki. Um, that's my trainer's name. I'm sure anybody who goes to St. Francis knows who Yuki is. Like he is, he is a beast. He's a great mentor, but he's also great at just explaining everything. So how it looks like for weightlifting, we we weightlift every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from nine to 10 in the morning. Uh, when weightlifting, we are obviously beginning to stretch. So we spend about 10, 15 minutes stretching and make sure our body's loose before we touch anything. Overall in the hour, we're doing about nine to 10 exercises for two or three sets. So it's definitely a tough hour. And if you've never worked out before, it gets very tough. We have some guys on the team who have lifted a lot before, power lifting and all, but we also have a lot of guys on the team who just have not lift or do not lift at all. It's definitely a big adjustment to lifting and practicing at the same time. I know when I first started weightlifting and practicing at the same time, it would be difficult to play my sport only because when your body is sore, you're not gonna perform the same as you would obviously without working out, but um, the more you get used to it, like the better you feel on game day. Oh. Some weekends, just like this upcoming weekend, I will actually be practicing on Saturday from 9 to 11 a.m. as well. Although I have some practices on Saturdays, doesn't mean I'm not competing at all, but I'm really there just to play volleyball. But also like a part of the St. Francis program, we have preseason tournaments, such as tournaments at NGIT and Sacred Heart. So number three, I'm gonna talk about recovery and treatment. Game day. <laughs> if you play volleyball, there are a lot of common injuries to every sport. I think with volleyball, knees, ankles, shoulders. Um, I've hurt my wrist before, I've hurt my core, I've hurt my ribs before playing volleyball. I get hurt a lot because I'm pretty reckless and I think you have to learn to not be reckless at times, but when you are reckless, you have to pay the price with rehabbing and just trying to recover. 
So if you played volleyball before, you probably know what jumper's knee is. Uh, I had it for roughly about a year, I would say, but I'm lucky enough that I've kind of went to the trainers at school and kind of get it treated and try to get it better. So last year, I used to play volleyball wearing a knee brace. Now that I went through about six months of recovery and rehab, uh, I don't actually wear a knee brace at all to play. So when I did go through rehab for my knee, I would spend 30 to 45 minutes a day in the trainers stretching, using heat, using ice, using stim. Hopefully I can actually talk to one of the trainers and try to interview them and see what their perspective is on how they treat student athletes every day. So I think with weightlifting and practicing all the time, I think supplements play a huge part. Not only are we weightlifting and training, uh, we are definitely big on supplements, I would say. We I have tons of blender bottles around the house. Uh, we have a lot of pre-workout in the house to make sure we're up and ready. We all have water bottles to make sure we stay hydrated and drink water throughout the day. We also have a lot of protein in the house. Like We have about maybe four or five, five of these jugs in the house, and I think we all drink protein post-workout or post-lift. Like the first video? Coming from a skinny guy point of view, it's definitely hard to eat a lot of calories throughout the day and when you're constantly working out and practicing. I think protein shakes definitely help you get more calories throughout the day. I don't know, all the workout, all the people who work out do it, so I don't know, I just wanna get big. <laughs> uh, I think one of my favorite supplements is definitely gonna be BCAAs or amino acids, people would say. And this kind of really focuses on muscle recovery and just getting electrolytes throughout the day. I try not to drink too much soda. I try to drink more of just flavored water. Uh, that's gonna help me out with my performance. So with the weightlifting and training, I think if I didn't take time to recover and prepare for every workout or practice, I would probably be dead. Also, when you're competing and practicing, I also think that if you're not mentally prepared for every practice or workout, you're really just gonna be wasting your time. Also, at this level of competing, I believe that if you're hurt, you should definitely go see a trainer. Get your injuries figured out. Get them healed as quick as possible. You know, if you need surgery, go get surgery. If you're feeling sore, go stretch. If you have any problem in school, go see somebody. I think whether it's physical or mental, I think people should reach out. Like whether you're a student athlete or not, I think reaching out is always important. So we're gonna talk about number four, school. So far I've talked about all the things I've done throughout school for men's volleyball. Not a lot of people see how I study or what I do for school. As a junior, I'm currently taking five classes, a total of 15 credits. Five classes, I would say, is relatively normal. I kind of got the hang of scheduling classes and I lucked out with only having classes Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So on Monday and Wednesday and Friday, I have classes from 10 to 3 p.m. I'm also a really big coffee guy. There's no way I can physically pay attention to class without coffee. I run on coffee, honestly. So I've talked about four major parts of what it's like being a student athlete, training and practicing, strengthening and conditioning, recovery and treatment, and education. So how does my weekly schedule look? So on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I start off every morning with a 9 a.m. lift. I have a 10 a.m. IT class. An 11 a.m. IT class, a 12.20 to, I can't do, how do you, a 12.20 to 2 o'clock public speaking class, and at 2 to 3 o'clock, I have a survey of the religion class. So when it comes to my Tuesday and Thursday schedule, sometimes my weightlifting times will not always be on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Sometimes they actually move to Tuesday or Thursday. So on Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes we actually do lift at 7 a.m. So it'd be a 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. lift. And then later in the afternoon, we have a four to six, two hour practice, team practice. So it may sound like a lot, but honestly, it's just pretty repetitive. Not only are we doing maybe three or four essential things every single day, but playing a college sport, everybody plays the sport they love. When you finally get to one place and play with people who are even hungrier than you, it's amazing. So number five, family and friends. So my head coach always says that your number one priority should be family. Your second priority should be education. Your third priority should be volleyball. If you know me, you'd probably think it's just first priority, volleyball. Second priority, volleyball. Third priority, volleyball. Although I don't always post on my social media at the time that I'm studying, study. Also while being a school in Brooklyn Heights in New York City, I'm from Philadelphia, so I actually go home maybe every other week to go see my family and friends. And when it comes to friends, it's almost like a long distance relationship all the time. Depending where you are, sometimes you will be able to link up and sometimes you'll just have to FaceTime all the time. Or well, honestly, at this point, people probably just do streaks and just, you know, shows love, send me a letter, I don't fucking know. So I think that's gonna wrap up my first video. I do wanna make videos that make me brutally honest about what it's like being a student athlete, how I transitioned here, what it's like going here. So what I need is your help and your feedback to let me know what you guys wanna hear, what you guys wanna see, and like what video should I make next. So 
If you're a real one, you'll like this video, you'll subscribe, you'll support, and I promise you I'll support back on anything you do. So I've had this idea for this video for maybe a few days now. So I took a few clips of my friends and my teammates at school. Hopefully you enjoy what I see almost every day so far. Peace, cheers. But, Orpy is here.